guys ever wanted to live or work the American dream? My definition of American dream job is Monday through Friday, nine to five, no holidays, and no weekends. Mm -hmm. So today I will be talking to you about the career path I am going to be choosing, which would be an administrative assistant. No weekends, no holidays. Um, the three main points that I'm going to be going over today are the job opportunities they have, the salaries they can make, and what a typical day looks like for them. So I'm going to move on to my main point, job opportunities as an administrative assistant. So many different titles that can be used, secretaries, receptionist, full-time office assistant, office manager, customer service call center, human resources, sale assistant, research administrator, and the list just keeps going on and on. But as the lists go on, they are also broke down into more specific job titles. They all represent something different and so many job titles, so many opportunities out there. I have found over 200 new jobs with these titles within a 75 mile radius of Waterville. There is about 20,000 job openings annually for office administrators or administrative assistants. I interviewed people in this field. I interviewed people in this field and they told me it was really hard to find a job with only a two-year degree compared to someone who has a four-year degree. Most jobs show a two-year minimum qualification and degrees that are required are business management or an office tech and you can get also other things like accountant or things like that. The administrative assistant project to grow increases by 7% to 13%. Um, employed in 2006 was 1,600,000 people and by 2016 it was 1,900,000. So that was just a 15 increase right there. <coughs> Which brings me to my second point, salaries. Salary or hourly pay. Mostly administrative assistants get paid salary. It's very rare to find someone who gets paid hourly, but it does exist. Most people do get paid salary. So the salary range, 2006, was anywhere from $25,000 to $57,000 a year. Different titles do have different pay scales, and they found this in a book called College Majors and Careers. Um, so with that being said, with medical secretaries can range anywhere from 20,000 to 40,000 a year. Legal secretaries, 24,000 to 59,000 a year. And supervisors, managers are anywhere from 27,000 to 50, or $71,000 a year. In comparison, supervisors and managers make way more money in the long run. Well, so this book tells me. Um, what I plan on doing with my degree as business management, I want to work for a county deputy auditor. So I would be responsible for payroll, um, the scheduling of the deputy's hours, and then also being on an election board, which would give me a title of like, who can the new judge be for the county, or what taxpayer money should go to, et cetera. Um, Salaries can be terms by experiences and degrees, and the longer you are at, at a place, obviously you're going to get raises and bonuses, so a person like myself with no experience just as will probably get the low spectrum of it, but like I said, the longer you're at a place, more raises, more bonuses, hopefully get to the higher end. And then finally, my last point, a day in the life of an administrative assistant. <coughs> Responsible, they are so.
day in the life of an administrative assistant responsible for so many tasks, holding meetings, answering phones, emails, doing payroll, managing calendars, making travel arrangements for meetings, preparing reports, financial data, um, deposits, customer relations, supervising other support staff, and bank reconciliation. Important, it is important to be organized and strong with computer and internet skills, um, complete projects in a timely manner, be flexible, detail-oriented, comfortable in a fast-paced office area. And a lady in the New York Times Magazine quoted, there's always a surprise, and that surprise can sometimes turn your, uh, your day upside down, which means you can be given having a great day, and then all of a sudden, boom, you have 100 things to do within an hour. So you just have to make sure that you're keeping up and you're able to. Um, I wouldn't recommend this for someone who is lacking in organization or not a people or person or communication skills or computer skills setting. So I just my visual aid of them being crazy, hectic, doing all their things and still talking to someone nicely on the phone. <laughs> um, like I said, my three main points for opportunities, salary, and the daily life. So, thank you. Thank you. 